Hi everybody, uh, we're going to talk today about how to use opposing viewpoints to get an MLA citation from the database. So I've got opposing viewpoints open here to the junk food issue and I'm just going to open up one of these viewpoint articles under featured viewpoints. I'm going to grab this one here and when this opens up to trigger a, a citation and today we're going to be talking about MLA citation specifically. I'm going to click on Citation Tools right over here on the right. I'm going to leave it set at MLA since that's what it's by default coming to. We're not actually going to download it, but we have to click Download to trigger this. So we click Download and then Open. And it opens up to a good looking citation here. We'll have to fix a few things with it, but it looks pretty good. You don't need this URL, so we won't worry about that. But what I'm going to do is copy this. I'm going to highlight everything there. I'm going to right click it and copy. Then I'm going to go down here to a Word document. This is the last page of my paper that I'm working on. And I'm going to paste in that citation. So I right clicked and hit paste. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this. I can see there's a, the margins are a little bit off. By looking at the, the ruler, if you don't have your ruler showing in Word, you can go to View and then click on the ruler. I'm going to go back home. I have that ruler showing so I, I can pretty easily see that that margin is off. It should be right over there, and it's not. That would be hard to see without having that ruler up there. It would look fine to the un to just your eyes. Would say, oh, it looks good, but it's actually a little bit off. So how we fix that? I'm going to highlight everything here. Then I'm going to go to the paragraph function here and click on this little arrow by paragraph. You can see the indentation is set to 33. It should be zero, and it's going to fix things down here in this little window in this preview window while I do this. So I'm going to bring that down to zero. See how it pulled it over. The hanging indent is correct, but it should be half an inch. So the second and third lines and fourth line should be over half an inch, not 0.33. I'm going to increase that to half an inch. Should be double spaced, set the line space into double space, and don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Okay, fix it pretty well. Let's see that there we go. We only have one line there. That's good, and everything looks good. You need to check it over for spelling errors and grammatical errors and check it against your MLA manual, but right there is a pretty good looking citation. Let's enter this. Let's go grab another one and try this again just to show you again how this works. So I've got my uh, citation here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go back to the topic here. Let me choose the next one in the list. So this time, that last time I chose this one, let me go for this one. Okay, so here's here's the article, and then there's the citation tools right there. I'm going to leave it at MLA, download, open. We've got our citation there. We don't need to worry about the URL. I'm going to highlight that, right-click and copy. In my Word document, I'm going to right-click and paste that in. And you can see, compared to the other one, it looks a little strange. So what we're going to do, we're going to do everything just like we did before. Highlight this paragraph button there. Take that down to zero. Hanging indent should be 0 0.5, double spaced, and then don't add extra space. Okay. So now we have a couple of good-looking citations. Uh, this citation, because should come before this one, since Collier alphabetically comes before Dunham. So what we could do, you could just cut and paste it up there, but an easier way. And also it would be easier if you had a whole bunch of citations in here. You can just highlight everything and then click this A to Z sorting button here. Click OK. And it switched them around, leaving the formats the same and all the other aspects of it the same. So and you know, do check this over for accuracy, but it from looking at this, it looks like a pretty good citation to me. And it and it's a it's a shortcut to having to type all this in or having to copy and paste every single line into some kind of a citation generator online. I think you can see if you know how to use these it's actually quicker than say EasyBib or one of those citation generators. This is just a few clicks and then just a few corrections and then you're there. So let me know if you have any questions but that's the basics of how to get MLA citations from opposing viewpoints. Thanks a lot.